In this video, I would like to show how we can calculate the deadweight loss that happens on the market after the government imposes a specific tax on production. So for that, I took here two hypothetical demand and supply curves, and I already do, drew them. However, the mathematical computation, I want to do it live now in this video so that, you can, so that you can follow along and you can see the method behind it. So with that being said, let's start. Now, what would be the first thing that we have to look for? I would like to know the quantity equilibrium and the price equilibrium before the government imposes the tax. So basically, I'm looking for these two values, the quantity equilibrium and the price equilibrium. So let's do so. That's going to be our first step. We're looking for PE and QE. So in order to do that, we have to make sure that consumers agree on the price that they pay to the sellers. So, so the demand function, the price of the demand function must be equal to the price of the supply function. Let's do that. 10 minus 1 over 2 times quantity demanded equals to 2 plus 1 over 2 times quantity supplied. Now I'll take the numbers on one side, so that's going to be 10 minus 2, which is equal to 8. And I want to take the quantities on the right side. So I have 1 over 2 QS over there. I'm just going to call it 1 over 2 Q because that quantity is basically going to be already the equilibrium quantity. And I want to take this one from here to the right side, which becomes plus as well. So plus 1 over 2 Q. Now, what do I have as a result? 8 equals to 1 Q. So that is 8 equals to QE, the quantity equilibrium. Now, I already have one piece of the data that I was looking for, one piece of relevant information. The other one is going to be to calculate the equilibrium price. And to do so, I could just substitute quantity in equilibrium into the demand function, for instance. So I'll do that. 10 minus 1 over 2 times 8. Okay, I'm just substituting 8 over here into the quantity demanded. And that's going to be 10 minus 8 over 2 is 4. 10 minus 4 is equal to 6. $6 per unit is the price equilibrium on the market. So in other words, these values are going to be 8 on the quantity axis and $6 per unit is going to be on the price axis. Now, let's go on. Suppose that we have a specific tax of $3 per unit. So it's going to be over here. Tax equals to $3 per unit. First things first, let's calculate the new supply curve. The new supply curve has to shift up by three units. So it's basically we are going to add three to the original supply curve. Price is going to be equal to 2 plus 1 over 2 QS and then plus three units per product. Uh, $3 per product additional in tax, I'm sorry. So that's going to be 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 plus 1 over 2 QS. That's going to be our new supply curve. Now, with that supply curve in mind, we have to calculate what's going, what's going to be the price that the customers, the consumers are paying after the tax and what is the quantity that's being sold on the market after the tax. So let's do so. I'm going to change back to yellow to keep the same consistency with the colors. And in my second step over here, I want to know the price that customers are paying after the tax and what is the quantity after the tax on the market. So basically, I'm looking for this new intersection point between the demand curve and the supply after the tax. Hope this all makes sense. With that being said, I will take the demand function, which is 10 minus 1 over 2 times QD, and I'll make it equal to the new supply function, which is 5 plus 1 over 2 QS. I'll take the numbers on one side just like I did before. 10 minus 5 is equal to 5. And I'll take the quantities on the right side. So that's 1 over 2 Q plus 1 over 2 Q. I'm going to write it 1 over 2 Q plus 1 over 2 Q. And that's going to be the quantity after the tax. I'm going to label it QT. So QT is equal to 5. That's one relevant information over here. So therefore, this is going to be the quantity after the tax is imposed equals to 5. And now the question is, what is the price that the consumers actually get to pay? Well, for that, I'm going to substitute the quantity after the tax into the price function for the demand curve, which is this one, 10 minus 1 over 2 times the quantity demanded. I'm going to go a bit lower to I, so I have space, and that's going to be 10 minus 1 over 2 times 5, which is the quantity demanded after the tax is imposed, and that's equal to 10 minus 2.5, and that's equal to 7.5. So that's going to be $7.5 per unit, the price that consumers are paying after the tax. So that's 7.5. Now, at the same time, let's consider the price that the firms or the producers are going to take after the tax. Basically, from this $7.5 per unit, 
three dollars is gonna be tax so we subtract three dollars and we get to a price of 4.5 dollars per unit that the firm is getting to keep so that's going to be 4.5 dollars over here i'm gonna note it that this is the price consumers are paying after the tax okay and this is the price that firms are getting after the tax now we are getting closer to the deadweight loss if you recall from the previous video i showed graphically that the deadweight loss is the loss in consumer surplus represented by this triangle over here and the loss in producer surplus represented by this blue triangle over here as you can see graphically these are two right angled triangles so in order to calculate these losses we could just use some simple algebra so let's do that first of all i'm going to calculate the consumer surplus loss consumer surplus loss this is going to be one over two multiplied with base times height so let me just write the general formula base times height since we're calculating the area of a triangle the height over here is going to be the difference between 7.5 and 6 so that's equal to 1.5 okay that's going to be 1.5 and the base of the triangle is going to be the difference between the equilibrium quantity initially of 8 units and the quantity after the tax of 5 units so that happens to be 3 1 over 2 multiplied with 1.5 times 3 now i have my calculator next to me i'm gonna do that real fast 1.5 times 3 divided by 2 that's equal to 2.25 that's equal to 2.25 okay now let's see what is the unit what is the unit over here well let me show you we know that on the y-axis on the price axis the the unit of measurement is dollar per unit of output okay or just let me call it dollar per unit well on the height we have over here a measurement in dollar per unit okay and we multiply this with the number of units on the quantity axis so that's unit over there unit with unit cancels out meaning that the only measurement that's being left is in dollars so therefore the consumer surplus loss is measured in dollars that that's 2.25 dollars worth of benefit to consumers that's being lost because of the imposition of the tax hope this makes sense and with the same logic with the blue color to keep consistency of colors i'm gonna solve it for this triangle over here that's going to be our producer surplus loss which is again the area of a right angle triangle which is one over two times base times height same logic as before the price is measured in dollar per unit over here the quantity is measured in units so therefore the units cancel out and the final measurement is in dollars so we know that the producer surplus loss is measured in dollars now what is the actual amount over here our height is the difference between 6 and 4.5 so that's 1.5 and our base is the difference between 8 and, uh, 8 and 5 which is equal to 3 so as a result we have the same calculation as before 1 over 2 times 1.5 multiplied with three so that's equal to 2.25 dollars worth of producer surplus that's being lost on the marketplace after the imposition of this specific tax to sum up as a result of all of this the dead weight loss i'm going to write it over here below dead weight loss is equal to the consumer surplus loss plus the producer surplus loss and that's equal to 2.25 dollars consumer surplus loss plus another 2.25 dollars of producer surplus loss and that's equal to 4.5 dollars deadweight loss hope this all makes sense i appreciate you all watching if you like the video please make sure to subscribe and we are done